Yeah. Okay, we're recording now, kiddo. She's recording, so shush. <laughs> Bloomhaven with your family, a new series on YouTube. Oh. <laughs> How's it going? It is going. How's it going with you? It's going. It's going well. I'm excited. I'm starting to get excited for the Nasaga conference. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I just got the email about the um, the app and everything. Yeah. Although I'm gonna give you a little bit of feedback. Sorry, I have opinions about things always. Um, I can't tell who's presenting what until I like click into it. So if I'm trying to, you know, if, cause I know a bunch of the other presenters then I would like to support my friends mm -hmm. or, you know, just because I know some names, you know, I can't figure out who's doing what, I guess there may be a way if I search through the other presenters, but in the schedule itself, you can't see who's presenting what. Yeah. In the app, I don't know. <laughs> Is it in the PDF? It wasn't in the tentative schedule that I got. Oh, okay. I'm presenting, but I don't know. So I haven't actually looked into the app that much. I just know that there's going to be a lot of really cool sessions and there's going to be a game room and, and there's like yeah. six D and D games scheduled. Which yeah, sounds really cool. <laughs> yeah. I was looking at those because to be perfectly honest, many of the sessions are when I cannot go to them because people wanted to go in the morning East coast time, which is like the middle of the night for me. So, um, so anything in the morning, I'm probably going to miss, but the D and D sessions are like lunchtime. So I might not <laughs> learn very much at Nasaga. I'll just play D and D. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> at least they're all, they're all going to be recorded. And uh, yeah, that's what I figured. I can't even go to the opening because the opening is at 7 a.m. on a Saturday and mm. that is not oh, exciting for me. Yeah. Very cool. I'm being kept up to date on a situation with some withers in Minecraft right now. She's she's collecting nether stars from withers. Um, that's like all new stuff. I don't know that stuff. Okay, that's cool. I, I need to play Gloomhaven now, though. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, if you are just joining this channel for the very first time, then I am Mark. And I'm Melissa. <laughs> and we play this game called Gloomhaven. <laughs> um, and this is, I don't know, the number uh, 20 something in a series. Something like that, yeah. Something like that. It might be like 20 or 21 or something like that. Uh, we've been playing since February or so. Uh, it's been good pandemic past time um and uh you should just watch all the other ones although i realize that's like 40 hours of video i'm asking you to watch to catch up <laughs> <laughs> yeah um might be good like background noise if you're one of those people that likes to work with some background noise because it's just us like being nerdy together mostly so mm -hmm. so Last episode was pretty exciting because we got new characters to play. Um, so this episode, we are continuing that and in their investigation into um, some shady stuff that's going on with Gloomhaven and surrounding areas. Um, and uh, I guess to catch you up, um, there was like this artifact that we severed uh, its dark forces from, but before it got severed, some uh, this mage called Hale who was sort of helping us or actually not us, but like the previous characters, um, identify who was using that artifact to, to draw power. And now we have these new characters who are um, continuing the quest to go and try to track down who these bad guys are using this dark artifact. Um, and I think we have a boss fight today. Um, we're going into the lair of the unseeing eye. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have a boss fight today. Um, last be a true last, test of these new characters, I guess. <laughs> yeah, last time we swam underwater and um, like went through a trench or something like that, 
which has led us to here. Um, and now I think this is like the actual source of the corruption or something like that. Mm. Okay. So that means uh, we're not, are we not doing like city and road stuff or are we? It says that it is linked to Gloomhaven. So we are still um, able to just travel there without doing a road event. Okay. So I guess we should just hop right in then, right? We could totally just hop right in. Okay, let's let's figure out what these are. Yes. So for those of you who are just joining us who don't feel like watching 40 hours beforehand, oh, these, are, <laughs> these are our goals for this particular scenario so that we can like level up our characters and things like that, get perks. Yep. Okay, these are the your two to choose from. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do this one. Uh, there you go. Because the other one is super crazy. Okay, don't look. Not These are mine. I'm choosing this one. Because <laughs> the other one is also super crazy. <laughs> I love when that happens, where your choices are like mostly crazy or super duper crazy. <laughs> and, um, I guess I'll pick this one that I might have half a shot of doing. Right. Well, actually, I think both of them are equally doable. It's just that one of them is a, a massive handicap. Oh, uh, I, yeah. I hate when it's when it's something like you can't use your things or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Although with my last character, I was good at that because my last character, the Tinker, did hardly anything that the cards asked me to do. <laughs> there was no picking up XP, picking up loot, actually attacking rather than, you know, using area of effect. There was, there was very little, it was a very specialized character. <laughs> nice. My current character is also super specialized, but in a totally different way. I'm so gonna be right back before we get started. Get a drink. Okay, I'll explain my character. So okay. this is my character. She's a summoner. That means that she summons all sorts of weird things to fight for her. And if you tuned in last time, she does not have a very big hand size, which means that I get exhausted quickly. But this is a much smaller board than last time, so we're gonna hope that that doesn't cause a problem this week. And then Mark is playing as a sunkeeper. Looks like this. Yes, they look very similar, which is essentially like a paladin type. So there you have it, a summoner type and a paladin type. And yeah, we're trying to cleanse the corruption from this thing. Ooh. The lighting is not good. There we go. There's some good lighting. There you have it. Um, I farted in the wood log in my sack. Oh, yeah. She's <laughs> fine because Mr. Mark is getting a drink, so we can talk about Minecraft. Okay. So I'm trying to water and look to it. I mean, one of I did. So you've got like a haunted forest? Guardian. I'm, I have Endermite. Oh my goodness. I have. Is it spooky? Uh, Are there bats in Minecraft? Yeah. You should put some bats. If you've got like a spooky woods, is that what it is? It's like a spooky I'm, woods? I'm hunting. Oh, and the hard mom hit a Oh, she's creating her own, like, super hard boss level in Minecraft. And put slime. 
I thought slimes weren't that hard. Well, once you defeat the big ones, I step away into a number, a medium one, and a way small one. Oh, okay. So they just take a long time to defeat because there's so many of them by the end. And I'm on the creeper that explodes. And creepers that explode, yep. Awesome. Okay, and Mr. What is that poison you? Oh, my goodness. Right. And it's my own one that, and I am not like a novel. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, Mr. Mark is back, so we're going to play now, okay? Thank you for that. I'm for the... have more kinds of creepers. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of creepers. Um, so no more my, well, you don't have to tell me about Minecraft until later, okay? Yeah. We'll talk about your campaign later. I'll tell you the whole entire, um, the whole <laughs> I coined it. Oh gosh, is it? I think I'll find a little bit of creepers. <laughs> Too many creepers. You mean the internet? <laughs> well, that too, but no, in, in Minecraft, if you haven't played Minecraft, there's this bad guy that's called a creeper, and basically it just like walks towards you, and once it gets close, it explodes, and so it's, it's quite bad because they blow up your house, so the way that you protect yourself from like everything else is by building yourself a shelter, but the creepers, if they can see you, they'll blow up and like blow an entrance into the side of your fortress. And then, it, and then it will never come back. back. Yeah, no, that, that creeper's dead because it exploded. But he also blew a giant hole in your house at the same time. And then you have to rebuild part yeah. of your house. And then you have to rebuild part of your house, yep. I will put some pillows. That's not where you're going to go. Okay. Gonna We're going to play Gloomhaven now, though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll, I guess I'll read the intro to the scenario. Okay. Um, okay, you wander through the massive stone structure beneath the waves for what feels like hours. Somehow, the lack of any sign of life in this place makes it all the more terrifying. There is only a horrid stillness that eats away at you with every echoing step you take. And just when you feel as though you cannot go any farther, you feel its presence. Something old and powerful waits for you at the end of this corridor. It calls to you, inviting you to climb into its open maw, embracing the sweet release of infinity. <laughs> what you came to defeat, but without even seeing it, you are filled with unending hopelessness. You cannot even dream of defeating such a creature. You shake your head and attempt to guard yourself from the negative feelings. You didn't swallow those throat-crushing breathing spheres and swim down to the bottom of the ocean just to fail now. You must move forward. You must destroy this threat. Special rules, add three curse cards. But we don't need to do, right? We don't have to do because we both have the perk that you don't have to do near negative scenario effects. Yay! I'm not I'm still not positive we're doing that correctly. No, it says it on the thing. Hold on. Now we're positive. I still think it might be negative effects from the road cards or whatever. No, it's it's specifically we can't do the road card. Ignore negative scenario effects. So it's these scenario effects, not the road cards. The road cards are the ones that still affect us poorly. Okay, okay. Um, all right then. We have to fight some crab dudes. These are crab dudes. Oh yeah, I don't have any stuff. <laughs> I'm like, where's all my stuff? Oh yeah, did you decide not to buy anything? I bought some. I should have bought like a healing potion or something, huh? Yeah, because last time the not having stuff did not go well. It's linked. We're linked to Gloomhaven, so technically you could buy stuff. Let me see if I actually have money. I don't remember. We started off with some money, but I spent all mine. Oh yeah. I do have some money. I'm gonna buy like a, what did I, I ran out of health, right? Not stamina. Yeah, you kept taking damage. So for health, there's a health potion. Whereas I probably need to buy a stamina potion as soon as I have enough money for it. How much money do I have? I have zero money. Apparently I picked up no money last time. That seems weird. I thought I picked up money last time. Oh, no, wait. 
you had the thing where you can't. I had the money. don't pick up money thing. Yeah, that's why I have no money. Because my deck is tiny in comparison and it's all lost cards instead of ones that I can reuse a lot. What am I supposed to do this time? Oh, gotcha. That's a terrible one. These are, oh, here we go. It's like the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I am going to get a healing potion. Okay. Um Let's see what these guys are doing. We have two regular guys. Mm -hmm. One elite guy. And these guys have target two and pierce. Yes. And the elite guy has a shield. Yeah. But they don't. Target two within uh, melee range by default, but maybe they have some sort of range thing. I don't remember. We fought these guys last time, and I don't remember. I don't remember how they did. Mm -hmm. um, and the water tiles are difficult terrain, right? Yes, so it takes two to move into them, but only one to move out of them. Okay, but we can occupy them. We can occupy them, yeah. Okay. We can stand in the water. <laughs> um, where do you want to start? Um, and are, are, you're going to summon something probably, right? So. Yeah, the very first thing I was planning to do was summon something. But I kind of want to go late in the turn so that they don't get one hit on, you know, like don't... Maybe you summon. Yeah, yeah, kill the summon right away. So uh, why don't I take front and center then? Okay. And then, I don't know, you can be behind me, or I don't know where you want to be. Uh, why don't I be sort of like next to you on the left? Yeah, right there. Okay. Wait a second. Do I have my water messed up? I do. One of my waters is moved. Okay. I'm ready now. It got mushed together. Yeah, this makes that makes it an even better, even better idea what I'm planning to do. I have to remember what I have, so let's see. <laughs> I changed up some of it last week after after nearly going exhausted, I went and did some more reading and changed things up a little bit. I don't think I made it harder to go exhausted, though. I just changed up some things. We'll see. That has 12 hit points. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, this is lame. Okay, I'll try this one. I have 23. I have 86. They have 61. So they're going to move to an attack. Gross. Okay. Um, so I go first. I'm moving here. Okay. Wait, if you're going to summon. Do you want to summon into there? Because if so, I can move here. Um, no, I was actually thinking about summoning um, in the water. So. OK, so I move there. And then I attack two plus a stun. Nice. Okay. Uh, a miss. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> of course. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like the lamest thing. Yeah, do you have like two extra misses? Do you have extra whiffs? Because I feel like you whiff all the time. Well, it's like one in 20 or something, however many cards are in here. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like you whiff more often. You're a bad shuffler, Mark. <laughs> uh, okay, their turn. So this guy doesn't need to move. He's going to attack me for four. Um, plus zero. Four points of damage. That sucks. He was supposed to be stunned. The other guys move too, but they can't because of the water. So I guess they each move one like that or something like that. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay. So my I turn. Okay, so I am moving and jumping over this water. And oh man. My setup is it evolved a few times to try to make it so you could see what I'm doing. Um, and then I am slum summoning a slime spirit, um, which I'm going to put like right there on the water. And that is my turn. Okay. Let me put my slime spirit in here. How do I do this? I oh, don't no. yellow. How do you do it? Um, there's that plus button. Plus button. Um, by the by the uh, on the right, the plus. Oh, on the character. On the character, yeah. And okay. it uh, lets me add a lets me add a dude. Whatever. Okay. I'll let you handle your own thingy. Yep. Okay, I've got him in there. And he has a shield and muddles people, so. Oh, nice. He's pretty exciting, actually. OK, that bastard. I have 23 again. I have 25. It has 11. Boo. Um, OK, so they shield up. The normal guys have one plus one shield now, or shield one, and then the this guy has shield two now instead of shield one, I guess. And uh, cause wound against all adjacent enemies. So all three, or your slime guy and I get a wound. 
Boo. That's boo. Okay. He's wounded. Yeah, that does kind of suck. I agree. And you're wounded. Mm -hmm. uh. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, because I don't think his shield helps with wound. Okay, I am going now. I'm going to one to face an ally, maybe form attack four. So your slime guy can do an attack four. Oh, cool. Do, on his attack or right now? Just right now. Okay, so he does an attack four. Minus one, so he does an attack three on that guy. Uh, but he has two shields, so it's only an attack one. Ooh. <laughs> and then I do attack four. Plus one is five, minus two shields, three points. One, two, three. But I add a sun symbol to our... Oops, that's not... Yeah, that's a sun. Um, to our pool. And it's your turn. Okay. Um, oh, so first, I'm supposed to take a wound, right? Hmm. I was wounded, so on my turn, I, I should have lost a hit point. Oh yeah. So he, my guy, also takes a a thing, but then he attacks this guy for one and muddle. So plus zero and muddle. Um, so he doesn't actually do any damage because he's got the guy has a big shield, but he does muddle him. Muddle. I think this is the question mark. Yeah, it's the question mark one. And then I am going to shoot that guy for two. Actually, should I shoot him or should I shoot them? No, they all have. They yeah, have shields, but he has a bigger shield than the others. That's true. Okay, I'm going to shoot this guy then. Okay. The one that's like... In the middle? Yeah. yeah. I in mean the middle. middle of the hallway. Yes, in the middle of the hallway. Okay, so I'm going to shoot him for two plus one. I shot him for three, so I do like one whole damage against him. Is that added shield or is that like... He's got one shield, so you do two. No, because he's got a, doesn't he have an extra shield? Or no? Is yeah, that a added? Normal guy? A normal guy didn't start with a shield. Oh, okay. So then I do two damage to him. And then I am going to do attack two, range three again on him, plus one. So attack of three, so two more damage. And then I also make a fire element. Fire. And that is my turn. Okay. All right. Elements for those watching at home. <laughs> Doesn't throw on the screen. Um, okay, next round. Um, I have 65. I'm still trying to figure out what I have. Okay. I think.
Okay, I have 13. Okay, you first, then they have 23, then me. Okay. Shield moving and attacking, great. Okay, so uh, my slime spirit guy, I guess he takes uh, another hit point of damage. And he attacks this guy for one again. But he's got two. No, he's only got one shield because he hasn't shielded up yet. Okay, so... One damage, minus one, so zero damage. But he muddles him again, so he's still muddled, extra muddled. Okay. And then um, I am doing a flying move for five. One, two, three, four, five into the water, like way over here. And then I am doing nothing because I'm not adjacent to anybody. Okay. <laughs> Um, they're going to shield up, move, and attack. So this guy first, um, shields up and attacks the slime for two plus one for three points. He's dead. Oh, wait, three points. No, he's not. He's not dead because he has a shield, but he's down to one hit point. Okay. Then the other guys. Wait, uh, did he get, did you do disadvantage because he's muddled? No, I didn't. And also, I forgot that he attacked me too because they attack, they target two. Yes, they um, do. The other one was a plus zero, so he actually uh, does three damage, not, or I mean, two damage, not three damage. Okay, so then my guy actually didn't take any damage because he has a shield. And then on me, he gets a plus one or a plus two, so a plus one. So he does three damage to me. Yikes. Then the other guys uh, shield up and move, I guess move against the slime guy. So I'll do them in order. This guy's number one. He goes here. And um, attacks the slime guy for one plus minus one for zero. Zero, yep. And then the other guy moves there, attack the slime guy. Minus two, negative one points of damage. <laughs> okay. so uh, still okay now. <laughs> they add a frost symbol. And now it's my turn. Oh, I forgot. I uh, added a wind symbol. Forgot wind. to say that. Yeah. Okay. We're adding a lot of symbols now. Mm -hmm. Um. I am going to attack this guy with five because there's a sun symbol. The sun symbol is going away. Um, and I have advantage. So five with advantage. Cool. Minus one or five times two. Ten points. Minus two shield. Eight points. He's dead. Yay. Yay. Hey. Um, and then for my other thing, I'm blessing. I'll move one and bless the slime guy. Okay, which gives me a bless, we decided, right? Yeah, it just adds a, a bless to your, to your thing. Because it's our shared. Let me get this loot. Um, I believe this is the next round now. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I thought that that was turned off. 
I don't know how to turn that off. Yeah, my stupid phone notifications are supposed to be off too, but last week we discovered that they're not. I just tried turning off the whole program. <laughs> no notifications for me ever again. I'm hurt. You are hurt. Oh, I was supposed to take a damage in my turn because I have a wound. Yeah, you need to heal yourself. Yeah, I'm going to try doing that right now. Actually, I should have just, I'm just going to, last turn, I'm going to use up with this potion. Okay, so, so that gets rid of your wound and adds how many points? Gets me back up to eight. And I'm not wounded. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I have 57. I have 82. 5, 7, 8. Oops. They got 11. Uh, shield up and then wound all adjacent enemies, which really sucks because I just healed my stupid wound. <laughs> oh, so, man. <laughs> uh, they shield up. There is a frost symbol that they use up, so they actually shield up for two instead of one. Oh. And then they wound the slime guy and me. Sorry. Well, he's already wounded, so. I'm now wounded again. Um, Bad. Oh, it's my turn. Uh, so I take a point of damage because I'm wounded. And then I heal myself for three and get rid of the super wound. <laughs> <laughs> and then I move. Oh, and I add a sun symbol. Okay, and I'm gonna move. Jeez, <laughs> I can't move. I can't. I can't get past them. You don't have any jumping or anything. No, I don't. I almost bought the wing boots again, but I didn't. I should have. Next time I will. I will move here. So that they aren't adjacent anymore. <laughs> right. <laughs> Stupid bastards. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. I okay. So first, my slime spirit takes a damage, and he hits this guy, the one that's like. The left guy? Yeah, the guy who's wounded already. Yes, the guy who's wounded already. He's going to hit him for one, plus one for two, but they have two shields, so for zero. But he muddles him. He's oh, muddled. They yeah, they have two shields. But he's, but he's So I clanged him on the head. My slime clanged him on the head and just made him all confused. That's all I did. <laughs> and then... Um, All right, now I'm going to, okay, I'm going to summon an Iron Beast. So, let me get, and I'm going to summon him, like, in the non-watery section right next to me. Towards them or towards the door? Towards them. Because my slime guy's going to die, like, any minute, so... Okay. Um, so what is that? That's green one, and he has he has retaliate and shield, so he's pretty sweet too. 
and what else am I doing that? Okay. And then um, I'm just going to walk out of the water. That's what I'm going to do. And I have to take a short rest now. Okay. Next round. Bah. But still okay. Oh man. All right. Well, I'll get it back. I have 55. I have, let's say, 25. Yeah, 41. You go first. They're going to strengthen themselves. Actually, they're not because there's no blue symbol. They're going to move and attack. They're going to move and attack? Yeah. Well, I mean, they don't need to move. They're going to attack. Okay. Well, my slime spirit finally bites the dust on his wound. Mm -hmm. So they are going to move. <laughs> yeah. They're going to move towards your um, golem or whatever that is. An iron beast. Iron beast. What kind of beast? Like a four-legged mammal type of beast? Sure. <laughs> okay. He's like a, it's like totally an iron uh, boar. It's a boar. Because he has retaliate, and that's kind of like the, the boar thing, right? Is they like retaliate. I feel like we should, iron hog. Iron hog, okay. He's an iron hog. Metal hog, metal pig. <laughs> <laughs> so the metal pig moves towards them and uh, hits the one that's injured okay. for one. So do they have shields yet? They don't have shield. Okay, no shield. For plus one, so he hits that guy for two. So that guy's down to three now, I think. Uh-huh. And then I am going to hold on. One, two, three. Wait, unless they're shield when they shielded up last turn, does it continue on until they move again? I don't think so because I have a shield card, like shield me and my allies card. Where is it? Oh there. And it just goes for that one turn. Yeah, but isn't it it's still in effect until your next turn, right? Oh yeah. Dang it. So So they, they have shield too, actually. Oh well then they he didn't do anything. Dang it. Okay. Well I'm going to try attacking that guy as well for two. Wait, is there wind? No, we're out of wind. Sad. I could also push him if I had wind, but I don't have wind. Anyway, so attack two plus zero. So I do precisely no damage to him because he's, if he still has shield. Yeah. And then I'm going to move. No, I'm not. What am I going to do? Uh, yeah, I'm going to move. I don't want to move into the doorway because I might have peeked at the special rules for once we open the next room. <laughs> okay. Uh, so. No, I'm going to stay put. Never mind. I'm going to stay put. Okay. I'm nervous. Um, they are not strengthening themselves. They're going to move. They're not going to move. They're just going to attack this guy. And wound him, sad. Yeah. The first guy, I mean, unless they whiff. First guy the one. first guy's muddled. First guy gets a negative one or a plus zero, so negative one. So attack zero, but wound. But wound, sad. Second guy gets a plus one, so attack two. Attack two? Yeah. Oh, but my guy has one shield and retaliate. 
So oh. that first guy gets hit for one, and he doesn't have a shield anymore because it's the start of his next turn, right? Yeah. Or is it the end of his next turn? No, it's the start of this of his turn. Okay, so he gets minus one, and then the other guy only does one damage, and he also gets retaliate of one. So. Okay. But this the, the, guy guy is, the first guy's not modeled anymore, right? It only lasts one round. Yeah, it only lasts one round. He's now not modeled. Unmuddle. Sad. And my muddle guy is in the lost pile, so. Um, okay, my turn. I'm going to move here into the water here. Okay. So I'm adjacent to just one of them. I'm going to attack him for five with advantage and use up the sun symbol. That's pretty powerful. Five plus zero or five plus one. Six so he's uh, dead. Uh, minus nothing. Okay. Nope. He's dead. It is powerful. I agree. Um, and that's my turn. So now it's the next round. Mm -hmm. But I have to do a short rest now. Okay. It has eight hit points. Um. Okay, I have thirteen. Have fifty six. Thirteen. Fifty six. He's got thirty eight. You go first. He's moving and attacking two. Moving and attacking for two. Okay, my guy hits him for uh, one plus zero, so it just hits him for one. And. I am casting this, which is all attacks targeting you and all summoned allies gain disadvantage this turn. So hopefully that will keep that guy alive. Oh, he also was wounded, so never, he took a he took a damage. And then I, uh, oh, and that makes the dark makes dark. Um, and I also attack the air. Done. Okay. Uh, he doesn't need to move. He attacks your beast and whiffs. Gets a oh. no. Um, okay. And my turn. Um, I'm gonna... Hmm. I'm gonna heal myself. Wait, do you want me... I could heal the beast instead. Do you want me to heal the beast? Um, are you also wounded right now? I'm not a wounded. Um, that wouldn't. Oh wait. So if he whiffs, there's no retaliate, right? I don't know. I think it's only if they actually hit. So, I mean, he's got three more turns in him as long as he doesn't take any more damage. So, is he useful though, or is his movement is his movement really slow? <laughs> I mean, he's pretty slow, but I have a card that I can like retrieve him from the field kind of thing. So 
So uh, I, I think I, I should heal myself instead of him. Yeah, I think that makes way more sense, frankly. Okay, so I'm, I'm up to 13 now. Okay. And then I'm moving. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four or five into the water, I guess, right next to you. Okay. Yep. Okay, next round. Mm, I'm going to do a short rest, actually. Okay. Me. That's fine. That's fine. Do you have cards in your discard that you want? Oh, you're doing short rest. Never mind. Yeah, no, I, I'm going to very soon play this recover up to four of my lost cards card and then but I want to kill this guy before I use it. So I'm trying to like hold on until then so that I'm not, but we may want to move into the next room sooner rather than later because I will get exhausted. Okay. I think you can probably open the door now if you wanted to. Well, the problem is, is that it, it gives, we suffer lots of damage. Oh, but After I open the door. So, I want to make sure that we're like ready to go. I've got 32. I have 25. Got 28. Okay, you first. Okay. Um, so my Iron Beast guy takes a takes the damage and or my my metal pig and then he hits the guy for one minus one so he hits the guy for zero useless and then I'm going to shoot the guy for two times two oh that's my bless so I hit him for four and then I'm gonna move like right next to the door so that I only use up one when I finally, when we finally move through the door. Okay. So there we have it. Awesome. Uh, I am got three hit points left. Um... Wait, it's his turn. So he doesn't move. He attacks this guy for one uh, plus zero, one point of damage. Okay. He's down to one point. Okay. And I'm going to. There's a dark thing right now. Yep. We're going to move one. Okay. Attack him using up the dark icon. Uh, with a attack four plus a model. Ooh. And it creates a sun icon. Minus one. So three points. Oh, he's uh, dead. Oh, he's dead. dead. Nice. Okay. Um, so... What are the chances of you getting up here next to me quickly? Very good. Okay. I, have, I can move pretty fast. Because at the end of the round that we open the door on, we start to take damage if we stay in this hallway. So that's why I'm like being weird about it. I can move fast. Okay. I'm willing to abandon the, the metal pig, but <laughs> I don't think abandoning you in the hallway is a good idea. 
<laughs> Ooh, hey, that's interesting. Okay, I have 51. I have 23. Did you have 51? 51, yeah. Okay, so I go first. I'm moving four, one, two, three, four, on into the door. Okay. That's as far as I can go, unfortunately. Okay, do we count that as being in this room or that room? I think neither. Okay. Or both. <laughs> Whichever one is in our favor. <laughs> Neither is in our favor, more than both. <laughs> um, you reach the final chamber and find the horrible creature, a giant eye stalk with a gaping maw full of teeth instead of an iris. Once again, you feel its influence. You begin to see the pointlessness of your actions. You understand that giving into its warm embrace is the only true course of action. But once again, you refuse. It grows angry at this, undulating its many tentacles in hostility. The room shakes violently, violently and the corridor from which you entered begins to collapse. You may have resisted its maddening call, but the fight is far from over. Special rules. At the end of each round, all characters and character summons still occupying the J tile suffer three plus L damage. Damn. Yeah, see, that's why I was nervous. Boss special one, before attacking, the sightless eye summons one normal deep terror for two characters or one elite deep terror for three or four. So it's going to summon a deep terror if that card is drawn. Mm -hmm. And then the special ability is before attacking, the sightless eye summons one normal deep terror for two or three characters. Or, oh, same thing. So, same thing, yeah. Same thing. So it's going to be able to summon stuff, but those deep terrors don't really move much. Right. They don't really move at all, but they shoot. Yes, but they can shoot. There's the... And a harrower. <laughs> <laughs> he is definitely intimidating. Like his, his pupil, it looks like a mouth. Or maybe like a llama pupil. Have you seen a llama pupil? They're so weird. They have like frills on the edge of their pupils. It's very weird. It does say soda. I will be right back. I'm gonna grab another soda. Okay. What do you say? Um, okay, while she's gone, my other move action was to shield myself for one and get an XP. Oh, okay. Hey, I have refreshment. Oh, man. Right now. Um, Oh, deep terrors, six and seven. Oh, he attacks at the same time, though, it looks like. And then the Harrow. They move fast. Yeah, the Harrow is, uh, is quick. So I'm done with my turn. I shielded myself as my other action. Okay. Um, the harrower shields himself for two, retaliate, range three, no one's within range, so nothing happens. This guy 
uh, summons a deter and then attacks four. Yeah. Holy moly. And I'm in range. Uh. Ooh. Um. But okay, so he summons a deep terror. What was it? Summon. You're gonna need to get a shield or something. I think. You've been taking a lot of damage. Where do you think he summons? Right there. Uh, or is it up to us where he summons? I think it's just next to him somewhere. So why don't we put him behind him? Sure. He made a mistake because he didn't want to shoot his own guy. <laughs> but now he attacks me for four. Ugh. Uh, minus two. Oh, that's better than nothing. I'm at 11 now. Okay. Oh, wait, but I have a shield. Sorry. Minus, I'm at 12. Okay. So I shielded myself. Um, and now your turn. Just to remind us all, our goal is to kill the sightless eye, not necessarily all the minions, just the boss. Okay. So um, my iron pig dies because of his wound. So he's now dead. Um, I'm going to move four. One, two, three, four into this corner over here. And I am summoning my thorn shooter. Uh, where am I going to put my thorn shooter? What's its range? Four. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to summon my thorn shooter like between me and the chest. So let me kill that guy and then red one and he's pretty wimpy, but may I make him a suggestion? Yes. Instead of moving into that corner, move right here one space before you hit the corner. Because if we draw special number two. And then summon your guy into the into this cone somewhere, like right there or something. Because if we draw number two again, he won't be able to target you. He'll only be able to target your thorn shooter. If we get the cone again? Yeah, if we get the special number two attack. Why won't he be able to target me? Because he targets, He he's gonna target your thorn shooter, or me, I guess, depending but it's on. A, it's a giant. It's an area of effect spell. Yeah, I guess you're right. No, but it won't. Oh yeah, you're right. No, if you sorry, if you go here and move your thorn shooter. Oh, no, sorry. I'm trying to figure out like how to keep me out of range. Well, right now the way you had it. He's going to hit both of you guys and not me if you are if you have initiative. Whereas if I have initiative, he's going to hit us too. Right. Like I'm trying to make it, trying to figure out how you can set it up so that he only hits your thorn shooter. You know uh, I see. I don't know if there's a way for us to do that. Um, but yeah. wait. My thorn shooter is like high damage, low um, low health. Mm -hmm. So I kind of don't want him to get hit because he poisons and things. Because so, but once I get all of my like tanky guys back, which I'm gonna do on my next turn. Okay. Then. Um, yeah. Never mind. I think that's fine. <laughs> Where do you put him? <laughs> And then, okay, so that's my turn, and I have to do a short rest at the end how of my turn. How much longer can you go? How many more rounds can you go? Once I, so this next turn, I'll get some more cards. I'll get my cards back out of my lost pile. So then I'll have enough for, for, um, 
maybe three more turns, four more turns, okay. something like that. Let's try it. There's also two chests. <laughs> yes. Well, we're done. I'm trying to get close to that chest so that I can get it, but we, but I also need to make sure that I don't, you know, yeah, die suddenly. The deep terrors attack adjacent enemies and disarm them. Nothing happens there, but they also attack range three, target two, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Your both your guys are within range of this guy, Shoot. and your thorn shooter is, is within range of this guy. And they're attacking for three. Yeah. From okay. So, that might be the like least useful thorn shooter ever. <laughs> this guy first. Um against your thorn shooter plus zero, three points. Yeah, he's dead. Oh wow. Yeah, he's super he's super squishy. I should have waited. Mux. Uh yeah. I think uh, he also attacks you plus one, so four points. Four. Sad so you're not within range of this guy, so he doesn't shoot you. Okay. That's the next round. Okay. This guy don't want that guy. I have twenty five next. Okay, I have sixty five. Ooh, maybe I should do this. Ugh, okay. Um. 65, 25. The harrower goes first. Yep. He's got attack two, range three, no one's in range, heals himself for four, nothing happens, so uh, he doesn't do anything. Your turn. You. All right, so I'm attacking the eyeball for two, range three, for plus zero, so two. Gosh, two whole points off him. And then I am recovering four of my last cards. I already picked them. They're back in my hand. Okay. So, yeah. My turn. Uh, I'm going to move forward to one, two. And then attack him for two uh, with a stun. Okay. Plus one, three points with a stun. Uh, so he's stunned. Stun. Oh, it says we can't stun him. You can't stun him? On my screen, I can't. Can you stun him? Oh, you're right. You can't stun him. I don't quite understand why we can't stun him, but. Well, then I would have done something else. <laughs> I would have done this one. Add. Yes, we can go out. We'll attack four. I do two more points. Oops. Okay. He's down at 13. Okay. I'm on board. <laughs> uh, the deep terrors attack adjacent poison no one and then attack uh at range five so um, immobilize so they're gonna attack you i guess yeah i think so all three of them are attacking you because you're in range of all three of them one two three four yeah Ugh. okay 
Oh, there's three of them. What's this guy? Only 10. Okay, so the first guy gets a minus one, so one point of damage, but you're yeah. immobilized. Bad. The second guy gets times two. One point. Uh, how many points? Four. Okay. The third guy gets a minus one, one point. Good grief. And then the Silas Eye does special number one, which is uh, summon a deep terror, which I guess will be over here. And attack both of us. So I'm going to have to discard. And then attack both of us, yeah. OK, I'm discard. Wait, is it discard or lost? Lost, I believe. Okay. Not going well. <laughs> um, his attack is going to be uh, attack of three. So against you, it'd be two points. Yeah, I did. So I discard a card. Against me, it's uh, four points. Ouchie. Next round. Yeah, I'm in big trouble. We need to spread out. <laughs> Something, yeah. If you move, if you, oh, you're mobilized. Mm. Yeah, I'm immobilized. Okay, well, I'm going to do this and then this. I have 55. I have 86. He is going to attack first. First, he's going to summon a deep terror right there. Then he's going to attack both of us because we're in that cone. Um, attack four. <laughs> So on, I guess you first, plus one, five points of damage. So I am going to lose another card. Okay, and then against me, plus two. So that's six points of damage. I'm down to two. Good grief. Um, the harrower is gonna attack, won't immobilize, but he's not within range of anyone, so he doesn't do anything. Um, I am going to hit him for five with advantage. Five plus zero or five plus one, so six points of damage. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's got seven left. And then I'm going to attack him again. Um, geez. Uh, attack five, but at disadvantage because it's a range attack. Okay. So it's either plus one or plus zero. So plus zero is five points of damage. One, two, three, four, five. Um, oh, and that's a discard, completely discard. But I add a sun symbol. Um, get two XP. Um, now the deep terrors go. He only has two hit points. <laughs> yes, that's good, but the now deep I'm gonna tear it down. The line. They're, they're shooting. So, they're shooting you. 
Yeah. So if I survive, then if you, if I, if both of us survive, or if you survive, then you can try to do two points of damage to him. I, I can try. <laughs> okay. We'll go in order. So number one on here is this guy. He shoots me uh, for three points of damage. Minus one, that's two points of damage. I have two points, so I have to discard two cards instead. Uh, we'll do that one and I guess that one. Sure, whatever. <laughs> and then uh, number six is this guy. He can't shoot either of us. Number seven is this guy. He can shoot you, but not me. Which guy? Oh. This guy. Well, shoot. So he shoots you for three plus one for four points. Discarded. Um, I'm one turn after this. Actually, I might eight. not even have one turn after this. Okay. Number eight shoots me for two points. I have two, so I'm losing two cards again. Uh, <laughs> I guess this one, sure. And number 10 uh, shoots me. Oh, I missed that we got another card. So I minus two cards again. Um, yeah. <laughs> These two. Okay. I have three cards now. Oh, I have to do a short rest, I guess. Well, I, I get to go first, so let's see if I can kill him. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess I will attack first because I feel like... I'll only... Well, that guy, it won't help. Okay, so I'm going to attack for three, and I'm attacking the eye. I'm shooting over this deep terror guy. Attack for three. Plus two. He's dead. Yay. Okay, we did it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was, so, that was ridiculous. Um, and then I can't really do anything else because... I don't have any moving around or anything like that. So I'm just going to summon my living bomb just for funsies. So now there's a living bomb sitting there. Okay. But then I can't take another turn because of all that. So. And we can't go and loot the chests. I know. I was trying. That's the reason why I went in that corner. Because if they hadn't immobilized me, I was going to just keep going and get that chest. But because that was what I was supposed to be doing was looting a chest. Oh. And I did nothing good. I completed mine. Well, that's good. One or more elite monsters. I killed the uh, the yellow dude here. I wish I had that one. Since, well, I don't know. Do bosses count as elite? I think so. But also, I had the no. other one that I had, which was terrible, was like, don't kill anyone. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> then you'd have to rely on like all of my all of my summons, who didn't do so well this time. And I get XP, but I get no gold, so I'm not going to be able to get a potion yet. Mm. All right, let's do this. This I could have healed my. I could do a heal to target any summoned ally. That's what I should have done with the Iron Pig guy. Oh no, because then he would have gotten smashed when we were still in the room. So never mind. With the giant eye dead, all of its minions wither and die with it. Thankfully, the room stopped shaking as well. You can't get out of the way you came in, but you are able to explore the structure further, free of the crushing dread that permeated the air previously. We uh, created a new location, the Void 51. 
It is a long journey, but you find your way out of the trench, return to the boat, and head back to Gloomhaven, resolving to never do something like that again. Yeah, that seems like... End of corruption. Okay. Mm, okay, so I get my eight points. Eight. So we get eight points for completing the scenario, eight XP. And then And then I also get eight from summoning stuff. Yeah, I get 10 from using all my abilities. And then how much is this worth, the loot? Uh, the loot is worth three. I need to figure out how to start picking up more loot. Otherwise, this is gonna be a problem. I really need, maybe I should sell my weighted net and get a, uh, stamina potion instead. How much is a stamina potion? I think it's just 10. Because this running out of cards thing, it is just 10. Unless, is there a bigger one? Major healing potion? Is there a major stamina? It might be, but we haven't unlocked it yet. Oh. Bah. But I can't carry two stamina potions, right? Uh, there's, it's dependent on your level, I think. Unless each item has to be unique. Yeah, that was what I was wondering. I don't know. I'm missing a stamina potion here. What's going on? Who's been looting the town? Serious, I've lost a stamina potion. Oh, well. Oh no, it was just out of order. <laughs> Cause I haven't been using my net like at all. Yeah. Um, hold on. And then how many things do I get to carry? I forget. There's some calculation based on level. Just like level divided by two or something like that. Characters cannot own more than one copy of any item card, so I can't have two stamina potions, sadly. Okay. And a number of small items equal to half their level rounded up, so I can have two small items. But I think when I sell back, I don't get, when you sell things back, you don't get the full price. You get half. You know what, I never gave myself my discount though. Oh is yeah, me yeah. neither. How much is a discount? I think minus three. Let's see. Okay. Let me see what our, our reputation is 13, price modifier minus three. So I technically still have six, six gold. Cause I only have two things. So this should be six. But if I sell this back, you get half, right? So then that's another 10. That's enough to get a stamina potion. I'm gonna do that because this is, I'm not using my weighted net and I am. You could use, you could buy this. Oh, it costs 45, Never mind. You don't have enough. But empowering talisman, during your turn, refresh one of your consumed items which sort of means you have two stamina potions. No, because that's, wait, is that consumed or? Yeah. So it's, it's the, it's not the like just turning it back up like this symbol? Right, yeah. Oh wait, refresh one of your consumed items. I don't know.
Yeah, you're, I think you're right. It's just uh, untap. Oh, there's Cloak of Pockets. You can carry two additional items, although it can't be multiple. Yeah, it can't be two stamina potions, sadly. And I like my, my robes are the robes of summoning, so I can heal my guys. Even though I don't use it, because usually my guys are dead faster than I can heal them. I'm going to buy these winged shoes. You need this amulet of life helmet. During your turn, perform a heal one self action. We have that? Or yeah. we have No, we have it. Okay. It's number 24. Next time, stamina potion, it's gonna happen. Oh, how much experience do we need to get to level four? 150. Uh, I think I'm only, no, I'm like probably two scenarios away from that then. I don't have that card in my deck. Which, the, the amulet of life or whatever? Yeah. It's number like 24. Is it one of the blue back ones or one of the red back ones? It's a red back one. It's because we hit reputation level three or whatever. Because, so, um, once we hit a certain reputation level, we get to add more stuff to the um, to the thing. Hold on, there's let me. Cards that I was supposed to add too. Yep, there's a whole bunch of cards you're supposed to add when you reach the next reputation level. Okay. So we're uh, oh prosperity level. I mean, so we're prosperity level three. So we get to have like up to. Um, no, these are ones we got. Um, up to 28, it looks like. 28. Let me see about prosperity. Um, okay, page 43. So yeah, since we're prosperity level three, we get everything from zero zero one to zero two eight. Okay. I discovered that by accident because I was setting up the app and it said something about adding more things. And I was like, what? So we've been playing without access to all of the stuff for a while. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, so major healing potion is in here. Yeah, major healing is in, but um, not major stamina, which mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a thing, but I hope it is. I would have bought that instead. Hearing. 
I'm sad that we did not loot these two chests. Only I hadn't gotten immobilized. We seem to always have epic endings. Yeah. I don't know if that means that we're playing at too hard of a level or. No, I think, I think this is just right. Because we're not ever sure if we're gonna win. <laughs> Yeah, I was telling you, my one friend plays as a brute and he just like goes smashing into places and loots the chests. So I guess he has these these things that let him just like go running past everybody, whacking everybody on the way and then looting the chest at the end. And I was, on the one hand, it sounded awesome because he's getting like all the loot and things like that. And on the other hand, I'm like, well, but you'd have to play like super hard level in order to make that interesting, right? Otherwise, that would be boring. I don't know. Right, I don't know. Some people, I have uh, determined that not everybody enjoys the long haul game. Uh-oh. That was sitting in the sun and is now all wet. <laughs> the humidity here is quite high. And so this was sitting in the sun. So like all the, can you see it condensed? Wow. So I have to let that sit for a bit. Or I guess maybe it boiled the water out of the pieces. <laughs> that doesn't seem right, does it? I don't know. I don't know either. It's possible. I mean, the cardboard, you know, soaks up humidity. Yeah. I don't know. That's crazy. Don't do that box or maybe don't do that me who left it sitting in the sun. I'm just glad that the tunnel didn't collapse on us. That was what I was nervous about. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I guess I'll stop recording. We succeeded again. In an epic way as usual. Thanks for watching. Sorry, the last like 10 minutes were hella boring because we were just looking at character stuff. <laughs> <laughs>